Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video. We do the ECMWF 30 day look at for today's first video for the UK and the rest of Europe too. So we're going to look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. That takes us well into uh, October, of course, into the second half of October. Um, so we'll have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for uh, Europe and see uh, what's going on. We can't show you mean sea level pressure or 500 mm bar height anomalies uh, with this, unfortunately. Um, but you get a rough idea of what the broad pattern would be from the temperature and precipitation uh, anomaly. So that's what we're going to do for video number one. Uh, later on this afternoon, we'll have your regular week 10 day video updates, including all of the usual features, of course. That the Hungarian Met Office is so big thank you uh, to them for supplying the charts. So this is the week one temperature anomaly. For uh, Europe, this is uh, week 39 for the year, of course, week uh, one for our forecast period, taking us from the 23rd to 29th of September. See, it's quite a warm scene, actually, across uh, many parts of Europe. Above average temperature anomalies uh, seen widely here, particularly through sort of central and western parts of uh, Europe. So the UK and Ireland, uh, we're going up to one to three degrees above average, widely across France, into Germany, uh, the Low Countries, the Netherlands, it uh, is above average with temperature anomaly there. And then down into the Med, much of the Mediterranean actually is uh, above average. So um, we've got the central bowl of the Med there from Italy over to Spain, looking uh, rather warmer than average too. Portugal looks a little bit on the cooler than average side. These eastern parts of Europe are also looking uh, quite warm. And the east part of the Mediterranean down to Greece looks nice and warm through there. But further north and northeast, it is cooler. So across Scandinavia, uh, where we've got uh, the west of Norway a little bit warmer than average, but most other parts of Scandinavia are actually coming out a little bit cooler than average, especially uh, over eastern parts of Sweden. And then we get into the Baltic area, and it does get quite a bit cooler then. Temperatures going cold and average. And these cold and average conditions extend into uh, western parts of Russia. We actually see um, some parts of uh, sort of uh, Central Russia there going down to um, six to ten degrees, I think, below average. So really quite uh, cold indeed through the central uh, western part of Russia in the week ahead. But um, that's kept at bay in the far northeast corner. Generally, most places are more than average uh, this week. Looks uh, unsettled, actually, for many western parts of Europe, too. So, again, we've got Ireland, the UK, uh, much of France, uh, the Low Countries, and the bulk of Germany coming out wetter than average. It was particularly wet through southern parts of England and Wales in the week ahead, significantly wetter than average there. Further north, we actually see that Scandinavia is uh, a lot drier. We've got Denmark wetter than average, but the Scandinavian peninsula is actually significantly drier than average, particularly through Norway, where it looks very very dry uh, indeed. Down into the Mediterranean, well, most parts of the Med, particularly uh, central and western parts of the Med, uh, drier than average. So it's a nice week coming up, actually, for Mediterranean. If you want a, um, if you want a bit of uh, late summer sunshine, then it looks like it'll be warmer and drier through much of the Med and into those holiday islands of, uh, of the, of the um, Balearics, the uh, York, the Menorca, Ibiza, Corsica, Sardinia. All of those areas are looking warmer and drier than average in uh, in the week ahead. Down into the southeastern corner, it's wetter than average there. So over the Adriatic into the Balkans, it looks rather wetter than average through those areas. And also a little bit showery, perhaps, uh, down to uh, Greece as well. Up across west parts of Russia, where, of course, it's very cold into the Baltic, um, there it is also dry than average, so cold and dry in that northeastern part of uh, Europe. We go through to week two, which is week 40 for this year, and uh, that's how things are looking. So uh, generally holding on to those warmer than average conditions across the western side of Europe. A little bit of an east-west split actually showing up there. So again, we've got Ireland, UK, France, down to Spain and Portugal, uh, many parts of the low countries into Germany. Uh, I mean, down into the Alps and northern parts of the sea. All of those areas are forecast to be warmer than average. The core of warmth is across Spain, uh, where we're three to six degrees uh, above average through the central part of Spain. 
Uh, further north, though, it's a cooler scene across Scandinavia and back to Western Russia, so temperature anomalies generally cold and average up in the far north of Europe. And then down this eastern side, uh, really from Poland eastwards to the Black Sea, temperature anomalies are very close to average. So it's either warm, milder than average in the west, or it's, a or it's average in the east, colder than average across the northern parts of Europe in uh, week two from the 30th of September to 6th of October. And precipitation-wise, this is how things are looking. So still quite unsettled, really, through many northern parts of Europe anyway. So from Ireland to the UK in the west, over the west of Russia, uh, we've got uh, precipitation anomalies above average. Scandinavia looks a little bit uh, more unsettled this week as well. We've gone from those driving average conditions that we have in week one to near normal precipitation in uh, week two. So obviously that is... Um, that's a more unsettled of week. And, uh, of course, with cold average temperatures, there is a little bit of wintry potential there through some parts, uh, particularly you would have thought central and northern Scandinavia and uh, around mountainous areas. Maybe we'll see some early snowfalls across Scandinavia there um, as we go to early October. Down into the Med, we've got uh, the, much of southern France looking dry and average, and then uh, most parts of central and western Mediterranean from Italy over towards Spain and Portugal coming out drier than average. This southeast corner has near normal uh, precipitation in week two. Week 3 looks like that. It's week 41 for the year. It takes us from the 7th to the 13th of October. Temperature anomalies are weakening. We can see that still it looks as though the far west of Europe is generally uh, a little bit above average with temperatures, especially down to the south of France and into Spain and Portugal and through the central bowl of the Mediterranean. Um, but clearly the uh, temperature anomalies are weakening the further out we're going. Also looks uh, a little bit cold now, average still across the northern parts of Scandinavia. Otherwise there's just a lot of white there, which is sort of average or no signal. Um, so I think we still say that the far north of Europe probably quite cold. The west of Europe, including Ireland and the UK, possibly still on the mild of an average site. Otherwise uh, really quite weak signals in the third week. Precipitation-wise looking like that, and again, the signal is weakening the further out we're going. Uh, the southern and southwestern part of Europe looks drier than average. The northern part of Europe perhaps looks a little bit wetter than average, so perhaps a little bit unsettled still across uh, particularly northern parts of the UK and maybe into uh, Scandinavia as well. Otherwise, again, there's just a lot of white going on, so uh, that's no signal, very very weak signals, really, uh, through most parts of Europe. Perhaps a bit on the wet and average side across this eastern part of the Mediterranean and also eastern Europe. And then finally, we go through to uh, week four, which is week 42 for this year, getting late on into the year now, of course. Uh, we've got uh, the period going from the 14th to 20th of October. By now, really weak signals. So colder than average for central northern parts of Scandinavia. Uh, and warmer than average through this central bowl of the Mediterranean, especially around Italy, over towards um, eastern parts of Spain. Otherwise, though, again, just lots of white, lots of no signal uh, going on, so the further out we're going, the weaker the signal is getting. Possibly, we do see uh, a weak indication for this northwestern corner to be going cooler, I think. That could include, at this point, the UK and Ireland as well. The reason I say that is that we're cold average across Scandinavia, a little bit below average just there, and a little bit below average just there out into the Atlantic. So it looks like that northwestern corner could be turning uh, rather cooler there through the middle part of October. Warmth down in the Mediterranean, otherwise, again, very, very uh, weak signals. And precipitation-wise, again, this signal is so weak that there is very little useful information that can be gleaned from this. It does look a little bit wet and average just there around the Baltic, so that could imply some sort of area of low pressure sitting through the central part of uh, Europe. It does look a bit dry and average up here, close to Iceland, to the northwest of the UK in the Atlantic. That might be a bit indicative of some high pressure 
And of course, if we've got some blocking beginning to appear around ice, and that would tie in with the idea that the northwest of Europe is going cooler because we will start to bring in some northerly winds there. So possibly just a few hints of it, go, of it going a bit colder uh, through the middle part of October in the far northwest of Europe. But otherwise, signals are so weak, and even that's a very weak signal. Signals are so weak, you can't really clean any use information. Does look as though the med could be still a little bit on the drier than average size. So it's a mixed bag, uh, again, this uh, this E7WF 30-day update. Uh, definitely it looks like it's warm but wet across the western part of Europe, central parts of Europe, in uh, the next couple of weeks, generally above average with temperatures, generally um, above average with rainfall, though, as well, especially in the west. The med looks very nice, so if you want a little bit of late summer, early autumn sunshine, get down to Mediterranean. It looks like it's going to be pretty nice, especially in the week ahead. Plenty of warm, dry weather. Cold in the north of Europe, so Scandinavia over through the Baltic, over towards uh, western parts of Russia. Cold of an average there. We may see some early snowfalls as we get through into uh, early October. And then possibly into the middle of October, coming a little bit more cooler in the northwest of Europe, perhaps a little bit colder than uh, in the northwest of Europe. But that is a very, very weak signal. Uh, right, so that's it for your ECM WF 30 day look ahead uh, for this week. Do it all over again next week. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what model is showing. Uh, any forecast beyond five to seven days is very, very unreliable, so it could all look completely different next week. Um, we'll be back later on this afternoon with your week's 10 day video update, including all of the regular features, so come back for that then. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.